The verdict is a big defeat for this man, John Durham, a federal prosecutor from Connecticut. He was appointed by former Attorney General William Barr to examine whether the FBI broke any laws in investigating possible connections between Donald Trump and Russia. In his first prosecution, Durham charged a Washington, D.C. lawyer, Michael Sussman, with lying to the FBI in September 2016 at the height of the presidential campaign. In a meeting at FBI headquarters, Sussman told an FBI official that data analysts had discovered what appeared to be a secret communication channel between the Trump Organization and a bank in Russia with close ties to the government of Vladimir Putin. Durham charged that Sussman lied by telling the FBI's general counsel that he was passing the information along as a good citizen, when in fact Durham claimed Sussman was doing it on behalf of a client, the Hillary Clinton campaign, hoping to stir up negative news stories about Trump. The FBI did look into the allegation about the Russian bank and found nothing to it. During a two-week trial, Sussman's lawyer said the FBI official, James Baker, kept changing his story about who Sussman said he was representing. It took a federal court jury in Washington just six hours to find Michael Sussman not guilty. Despite being falsely accused, I'm relieved that justice ultimately prevailed in my case. As you can imagine, this has been a difficult year for my family and me. Some legal experts were surprised that Durham filed the charges in the first place, given that the FBI knew Sussman's law firm did work for the Clinton campaign. Usually we expect DOJ will get a conviction when it takes cases to trial, or at least that they'll have a strong case. But here the weaknesses of this case were apparent from the get-go. The acquittal is no surprise. Pete Williams joins us now from Washington. Pete, this is not the verdict Republicans nor former President Donald Trump wanted. What is the prosecutor, John Durham, saying about this? Well, he does say he's disappointed. He says he respects the jury's decision and he thanked his staff. But you're obviously right. He did not want his first case to end like this. Uh, this is not the end of Durham's work, correct? As a special prosecutor, he has one more case? Right. He has at least one more, another one coming up in the fall. He is prosecuting a Russian analyst who lives in the U.S., Igor Donchenko. He's accused of repeatedly lying to the FBI about where he got the information that ended up in the infamous Trump dossier, the document that's now been widely discredited. He's pleaded not guilty. His trial will be in the fall. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.